Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Programming It Today. So in today's topic, we are going to see about what is meant by recursion function. A recursion function is a function that calls itself is called a recursion function. So in recursion function, we have two parts. One is a base case and another one is a body of the recursion function. So what is meant by the base case? Base case is a ending condition or the termination condition. A particular condition at which we will stop the all the entire process is called a termination condition. Okay, it is a base case. And in body of the recursion function, we used to do some related stuff like some process need to done and how many times the recursion calls should be done to the recursion function, etc. So on. And the basic use of the recursion function is we divide a big problem into a sub problems and a sub problem into a sub sub problem. To a minimum minimal minimal problem okay uh, by this we can find the output or a solution for that minimal problem to find the pro solution of the big problem that is by using the solutions of the minimal problems we we'll join together and find the solution for the big problem so this is the main purpose of recursion now let us see an example called a factorial of number by using the recursion call okay in recursion function we used to do like a two things one is a base case and another is a uh, body of the recursion function so see this in this example i can write factorial of 5 into 5 into 4 factorial okay i have splitted a big problem into a sub problem like 5 into 4 factorial and then a 4 factorial into 4 into 3 factorial and then 3 factorial into 3 into 2 factorial and then 2 factorial into 2 into 1 factorial and then I can write the 1 factorial is the base case that is a 1 factorial is always 1 and 0 factorial is also 1 so the base case will be a factorial of 0 or factorial of 1 will be 1 okay other than that I need to call for a number into a factorial of that number okay let us write this now it is a factorial of a number so we'll say factorial of 5 can be written as factorial of 4 into 5 now this factorial of 4 can be written as 4 into factorial of 3 and etc so on as we saw in the diagram now how to write this as a code just look like this a function of 5 Okay, I have wrote a function and inside that we will assume the value is 5. Now, I have already told you that the base case is 0 or 1. So, if this, let us take this as n. If n is equal to equal to 0 or n is equal to equal to 1, then I have to return 1. Okay, this is the base case. And then after that, I need to write the body of the recursion okay now what's here what i have done for f of n i have called n into f of n minus 1 right so just written n into f of n minus 1 so that what will happen here first initially it will be 5 so 5 into factor of 4 so it goes here and call again for factor of 4 it will be 4 into factor of 3 okay let us write a recursion stack so recursion stack so telling about the recursion stack is every time when the recursion runs an internal stack is created okay that is called as a recursion stack let us see that in depth first this is for say 5 okay for 5 we are going to check whether 5 is equal to equal to 0 or 5 is equal to equal to 1 whether it is true or false it is false okay now or else i want to return what 5 into fact of 4 so this will call another recursion let's take us 4 now 4 is equal to equal to 0 or 4 is equal to equal to 1 no it is not a case so 
come to this written what 4 into factorial of 3 now again a recursion stack is will be created this is for 3 so neither the 3 is equal to equal to 0 nor the 3 is equal to equal to 1 so the base case is false then written 3 into fact of 2 now fact of 2 will be it is neither equal to equal to 0 or not equal to equal to 1 so it will return 2 into fact of 1 so what is the fact of 1 it again calls it again calls just here it again calls fact of 1 now observe carefully is 1 is equal to equal to 1 yes it is 1 is equal to equal to 1 so we will return the function like see here we will return 1 so I just written 1 so in this it will return 1 where for this f of 1 so 2 into 1 which will be 2 okay clear 2 into 1 which is 2 now this this recursion stack that is this recursion call will return a 2 okay where for this f of 2 so 3 into 2 which is 6 okay so this recursion call will return 6 for which for this f of 3 okay now 4 into 6 which is equal to 24 so this 24 will be written to this f of 4 now 5 into 24 which is equal to 120 so this is how a recursion works a lot of people will do mistake where once it is written here they will stop here so you should be very careful that a recursion will create a recursion stack whenever it is called okay whenever we call a recursion it will create a recursion stack like this like this which is like say first will be f of 5 then f of 4 then f of 3 then f of 2 then f of 1 then it will return 1 then it will be written here then popped out like this okay this is the internal working of stack so it will return a value and then this function will return the value this is the working of stack okay sorry it is a working of recursion and recursion function will create an internal stack okay fine let us see the code now see here is the code the fact of n if n is equal to equal to 1 or n is equal to equal to 0 and some people may ask if i give a factorial of 5 it definitely have to stop in n is equal to equal to 1 then why we want to put this n is equal to equal to 0 this is somewhat a case where i directly give find the factor of 0 what will we do we will do a infinite recursion call here okay i will state here just wait now now just assume that i haven't given this one i haven't given this n is equal to equal to 0 then what will happen first f of 0 will be executed okay in this 0 is equal to equal to 1 no 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 so written 0 into f of 0 minus 1 so it will goes to f of minus 1 is f of minus 1 is equal to equal to 1 no then written minus 1 into f of minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 2 again so it will call infinite number of recursion call and it results in a error okay the error is maximum depth of recursion is counted okay maximum recursion depth is encountered this is the error okay now 
so hence we want to put n is equal to equal to 0 now fine here this else is optional why because whenever a function returned a value again a alternate return value will not be executed okay whenever this return one is executed after the line no other lines are executed like if i have encountered this uh, return one then it will not go to this else it will not go to this return function and anything else apart from that line okay this is the internal working now let us take another example it is a good example to explain what is meant by recursion tree okay we have seen the recursion stack but in this we can see what is meant recursion tree in a brief manner okay this is a famous problem called nth term of the fibonacci series okay it is a n to find the nth term of the fibonacci series we will use the recursion now just see this diagram first of all we want to know about what is mean by fibonacci series okay just see here what is mean by fibonacci series the fibonacci series initially start with 0 and 1 what will the addition of the 0 and 1 it will be 1 what is the addition of this 1 and 1 it is 2 what is the addition of 1 and 2 it is 3 and what is the addition of 2 and 3 it is 5 then 8 then 13 then 21 etc so on so this is the fibonacci series so to do this fibonacci series what we have done what we have done just see here to find this one i added this two to find this two i added this two one to find this three i added this one two to find this five i added this two three right so to find a value called n i have to add n minus one and n minus two correct so let us think like to get the nth term like if i want uh, say this is the first term, second term, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth term. To get this eighth term, to get this eighth term, I want to add sixth term plus seventh term. Right? To get this sixth term, I want to add fifth term and fourth term. To get this seventh term, I want to add sixth term and fifth term. Right? So, based on this, I have clearly noticed that to get a nth term i want to add n minus 1 and n minus 2 term right so this is the body of the recursion i have found the body of the recursion now when should i stop when should i stop this recursion else it will go to the maximum debt and create some error right so when should i stop just uh, realized that these are the initial terms right 0 and 1 are the initial term. Why can't I set this as a base case? Right? So, if, if n is equal to equal to 1, then I can return simply as 0. If n is equal to equal to 2, then I simply return as 1. Can this be the base case? So, we have constructed the base case and we have constructed the body. So, let us write the code. Just see here, a function, the function, let's say it will be n, okay. So, what is the base case? If n is equal to equal to 1, I have to return what? 0, okay. If n is equal to equal to 2, I want to return what? 1, right. If this both are not the not executed it means it is just executing the body of the recursion right so written written fung of n minus 1 plus fung of n minus 2 i may write this function as maybe fib also so in this example i have wrote like just fung okay now this is the code for nth term of the Fibonacci series so how it is working now how it is working just take uh, let us take like 
f of a small value called 4 okay what are the two values to be added to get the fourth element see here this is the line right just it's come 4 is equal to equal to 1 no 4 is equal to equal to 2 no then written func of 3 plus func of 2 right so just two lines func of 3 and func of 2 right now 3 can be written as func of 2, func of 1. 2 can be written as func of 1 and func of 0. Why? Why? Because 3 is not equal to 1 or 2. Sorry. Yes, 3 is not equal to 1 or 2. But, but, this 2 is equal to 2. I encountered this base case. So, I written wrong. right it don't go further it just written what one it returns one and f of one will return what zero f of one will return zero so it returns zero it returns one so one plus zero which is equal to one so it returns one fine now what are the two values that are written to this? 1 and 1. So, 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So, factorial of 4 which is equal to 2. Okay. This is for the factorial of 4 recursion tree. Let us see or maybe factor of 5 or 6. Okay. Now, factorial of 6. Whether 6 is equal to equal to 1 or 2? No. So, go to next. Go to n minus 2 and n minus 1. Now, f of 5 can be written as f of 4, f of 3. Now, f of 4 can be written as f of 3, f of 2. Now, f of 3 can be written as f of 2 and f of 1 it will returns what 0 it will returns what 1 so 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 so it returns what 1 it returns what 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 now it returns what 2 now it goes to further our recursion calls so it will be f of 2 and f of 1 so it returns 0, it returns 1. So 1 plus 0, which is equal to 1. So it returns 1. So 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So it returns 3. Now here, again, again, it calls the recursion calls. So f of 4 is f of 3 and f of 2. Now this f of 3 can be further called to f of 2 and f of 1. Now, it returns a value called 1 and returns value 0. Okay. Now, 1 plus 0 which is equal to 1. Now, 1 is returned and f of 2 is 1. So, 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Now, 2 is returned here. So, what is the, what are the values written? 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5. Okay. Fine. Now, See here, we have encountered f of 5 here once. f of 4, this is the first time and f of 4, this is the second time. Right? f of 3, this is the first time and f of 3, this is the second time and f of 3, this is the third time. Now, do we want to go on a recursion function for the same value for multiple times, right? I have found f of 3, it is 1. Whether after that, it is a second time I have called f of 3. Whether I want to go further for f of 2 and f of 1 to calculate the f of 3. No, right? We have already encountered this f of 3. So, we can easily write this f of 1 as 1 and this f of 1 as 1. 
so this is called a dynamic programming approach so we don't want to go on a further uh, explanation on dynamic programming it is a part of the problem solving just uh, you need to understand it okay this is just a overview of uh, dynamic programming but still still for a recursion it is enough so just you want to know about the recursion stack so you want to know about the recursion stack and you have to know about the recursion tree and how do the recursion calls are actor okay so this stuff sorry so this stuff is called as a recursion tree okay you need to know how the values are written here like after finding the f of 2 i have written the value of 1 and after finding the f of 4 i have written the value of 2 so these are the things you have to note in this recursion so these are the things you have to note in this factorial and fibonacci series number also now let us see the code see here def fib of n okay if n is equal to equal to 1 return 0 if n is equal to equal to 1 i have told you that return 0 then else if n is equal to equal to 2 return 1 it is not necessary to put this else if we can also put the if alone okay else return fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2 uh, we can also don't want to need to put this else because we know that whether whenever the first return statement is encountered it will not go to the further return statement okay or else uh, further lines i mean if we encounter a return statement in fifth line it won't execute any of the line numbers apart from 5 that is greater than 5 in that function we know that so this is the base of this fibonacci series and in this let us run that i have given the fib of 6 uh, fib of 6 is 5 okay we can know that uh, whether 5 or 5 is displaying or not it is working on and uh, important stuff is in this fibonacci series just see here fib of n minus 1 is given in front of fib of n minus 2 so this represented whenever the every recursion call of fib of n minus 1 is completed then only it moves to the fib of n minus 2 that's why while i am writing this i have finished the all n minus 1 then i have moved to the n minus 2 you have noted that so this is the reason why i have finished all n minus 1 then i have gone to the n minus 2 so when you are seeing this this is the you have to know about why it is uh, called for n minus 1 and n minus 2 and why we have to go on to the depth of the n minus 1 and we want to come to the n minus 2 okay this is the concept of recursion and so these are the problems you have to solve by your own so first one is gcd by euclidean method so this is a famous uh, greatest common divisor method for uh, method which is uh, taken part by recursion and write a program to find a Tribonaki series we have seen the Fibonacci series so this is a Tribonaki series what is a Tribonaki series just see here we initially start from 0 1 1 and when we are adding this 3 we get 2 then 1 plus 1 plus 2 it is 4 then 1 plus 2 plus 4 it is 7 then 1 plus 4 plus 3 it is 13 okay in Fibonacci series we will take just the two numbers in Fibonacci series we will take the three numbers fine now write a recursion program to count the digit of the number okay it is fine uh, to do this stuff you have to know how to extract a single digit from a number okay if i have given a five number you have to know how to extract that five digits you may use that mod by 10 it is the basic method to extract the numbers okay digits when we are doing this uh, 1 2 3 4 by mod 10 what will be the answer it will be 5 and when we are dividing this uh, 1 2 3 4 5 by 10 it will be 1 2 3 4 okay so we have to again call the recursion for 1 2 3 4 and again we have to call for recursion for 1 2 3 and again we have to call the recursion for 1 2 then we have called for 1 
then we will call for zero and zero will be the base case okay so when we are calling we will uh, return by adding one number because we are just negotiating a last digit so we'll add one to the recursion call so if you don't know about this uh, i may give you the program i will give the solution for all these three in upcoming videos so don't worry just try it and you may comment if you have any doubts so thank you